hello, hello, and welcome. Today I'm gonna work a short tutorial with you guys on how to do the iris stitch. So here's just a small sample I worked up for you. It's absolutely beautiful, obviously a very lacy stitch. It works up so quick. All we need to know is double crochets and chains. Let's work this one together, guys. All right, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna be working with a worsted weight acrylic yarn. Look how beautiful this color is. And a 5.5 millimeter hook. Festive, okay, check out this festivity. All right, let's do the iris stitch. We're gonna start off with a slip knot. Then we're going to chain a multiple of four and we're gonna add an additional three chains on top of that. So for my foundation chain, I'm gonna work 23. To work a chain, we're just going to yarn over our hook, pull that yarn through your loop and pull up a new loop. Yarn over, pull up a new loop, yarn over, pull up a new loop. So that's a chain and right now I've worked five. I'm going to work 23 and then we can meet up and work row one together. All right, so I've worked 23 chains, just a foundation chain like this. Let's work row one. So for myself, I like to work my first row into the back bar. So I turn my work over. I like to work into this back bar for my first row. So to start off row one, what we're gonna do is work a modified cluster into the fifth chain from our hook. So let's count one, two, three, four, five. In this chain, we're gonna work two double crochets, chain one, followed by two double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook into that fifth chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop, leaving you with three. Yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. So that's a double crochet. Then we'll do another one in that same chain. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we're going to chain one and work two more double crochets into that same chain. So this is my first double crochet, and then this is my second. So that's the modified cluster we're gonna do in this iris stitch. So remember that, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now the rest of this is going to be repeated across this row. We are going to skip three chains, one, two, three, and into the next work our modified cluster of two doubles, chain one, two doubles. So yarn over into that chain there, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So finish off your modified cluster here. And then like I said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat this all the way across the row, skip three, then modified cluster in to the following. And then when you reach the end, you should be left with two chains. And when you get to that point, I will meet you and we will finish off this row together. Okay, so I'm just finishing up my final little cluster here. So two double, chain one, two double. And like I said, you're left with two chains. So to finish off row one, all we're gonna do is skip one and into our final stitch, work a double crochet. And that is the end of row one. So let's take a look at what we have so far. It's just gonna be a nice row of these clusters. Beautiful. The great thing about the iris stitch is it's a one row repeat. So this row that's coming up, row two, is gonna be the row that we repeat for however long we want our project to be. To start it off, we're going to chain three. So one, two, three. That does count as a double crochet. We're gonna turn our work around. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to skip these two here. So this was our double crochet. So our first stitch is a double crochet. We're gonna skip two and into the chain one space of the previous row, we're gonna work that modified cluster. So in the chain one space, we're gonna do two double crochets, chain one followed by two double crochets. I'll work it with you. Whoops, let's do that again. So yarn over, we're gonna work double crochet. 
followed by a chain one and then into that same chain one space keep working two more double crochets So that's the first part of our second row. Next, we're going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, skipping four chains and we're gonna work into the next chain one space. So we're skipping one, two, three, four, and into the next chain one space, you're gonna do your cluster and that's what we will work across this row. So essentially you're just going to work that cluster into every chain one space across until we get to the end. I'll work it with you one more time. So we're going to find our chain one space, skipping four stitches and into that space, we're going to do a double crochet followed by another double crochet, then a chain one and then two more double crochets. So this one's a really easy stitch and it works up really, really quickly. And then it's so beautiful once it's done. So keep working those clusters in your chain one spaces and then I'll meet you here up at the end and we can finish it off together. Okay, so I'm finishing up my last chain one space cluster. And then let's look what we have left. So if we're looking at our previous row, we have two double crochets and then we have our turning chain. And our turning chain actually counts as a double crochet. So to finish off row two, we're gonna skip two and then work a double crochet into the top of our turning chain. So yarn over, skipping two and working into the top of that turning chain. And that is what the end of row two looks like. Like I said previously, that's our repeated row. So I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna work it a little bit faster. So chain three, turn your work around, skip two, and our modified cluster of two doubles, followed by a chain one and two doubles into the chain one space. Of course, we're running out of yarn here because how else would tutorials work out if we didn't constantly run out of yarn? So keep working that all the way across and I will show you how to finish it off one more time before I show you a larger sample swatch. All right, so just coming up again to the end of row three, which is a repeat of row two, we have our two double crochets and then our chain three turning chain. So we're just gonna skip two double crochet into the top of our turning chain and it is that simple. Let me show you guys what this looks like so far. Beautiful lacy stitch, stunning. Okay, I'll work one more row just so you can really see. Okay, so here is just a larger sample swatch so you can really see how beautiful this iris stitch is. It's like lacy, kind of shelly. It works up so quick. I mean, I definitely wouldn't do a winter project with it, but so many cute summer projects. I absolutely love the iris stitch and I hope this tutorial helped you guys figure it out.